She is a Hall of Fame softball coach, won a national title, and over 1,400 games in her college career. Her career started at Metamora. Margie Wright has seen a lot, and she likes what she's seeing with the current direction of sports for girls and women. Margie Wright was back in Metamora this weekend, and my, how things have changed since she started her coaching career there in 1975. I had to coach five sports when I was here, and now, you know, they have a coach for each sport, and um, it gives the young women a great opportunity. Women's athletics is on a roll right now. Caitlin Clark is a TV ratings bonanza, and last fall, over 92,000 fans attended a women's volleyball game. That wasn't the case for girls in women's sports when Wright played softball at ISU in the 1970s and then started her Hall of Fame coaching career. It was kind of an unknown factor for so long because we, we weren't really televised that much and we weren't, um, nobody really paid that much attention. It was always the guys. I'm actually quite jealous of the high school players today because they do, they have some of the best facilities and best coaches and you know, we. We didn't ever have that. Well, you look at our school right now in eighth hour and our girls, you know, up there lifting and, and have an equal time in the, the weight room. You know, that's that's not happened in the past. You know, it is a fun time to be a girl and it is a fun time to be in women's athletics. Interest in girls and women's sports appears to be at an all-time high right now. And Margie Wright is convinced that momentum is real and it will only continue to move women's athletics forward in the future. It's a long time coming and I'm proud of that. I'm proud to have been a part to get them here and I hope that I can be a part to continue to move it forward. Metamora has an early season softball tournament called the Margie Wright Showcase which the Redbirds just hosted over the weekend.